Caitlin, thank you. New at six just hours before the storms. Our Katie Lusso went out on the water with the Fairfax County Police Department's Marine Patrol Unit. They are getting ready for a busy summer, but they say these storms present some serious risks even once they've passed. As the weather warms up, so we're on the water seven days a week. Fairfax County Police Department's Marine Patrol Unit is gearing up for a busy summer. In Fairfax, we have over 80 miles of shoreline. But before we headed out on the water, we first went over some safety rules. Anytime you're in the back here, you need to have a life jacket on. Okay. Inside the cabin, you don't need one. In fact, Master Police Officers Timothy Judd and Michael Green say wearing one inside could cause you to become trapped inside if the boat were to capsize. After launching from Poic Bay, so this is one of our, our busier areas. We made our way to the Potomac, making sure everyone's following the rules. So this is the start of the DC no wake zone. Some of those rules change up when you cross lines from DC to Maryland or Virginia. In Virginia, it just simply says no wake. So no wake means the minimum speed to maintain steerage. While in DC, and you'll see that here, their signs say speed limit six. But some rules are the same anywhere you go. When you go out, you need to make sure you have a life vest for every single passenger. Uh, you have to have a throw device, a working fire extinguisher, a horn, whistles. Also, the rules of the water. Sailboats have right away over power boats. They're not as maneuverable as a power boat, so we have to give way to him. But on this Memorial Day, the biggest concern for boaters, the weather. I know we had a lot of storms last night, but there's obviously another storm coming today. At what point is it unsafe to be on the water? The biggest thing is to just keep a close eye on, on the weather. He says take gale warnings and small craft advisories seriously. Because we'll get three foot swells out here and the waves will end up going over the bow of the boat. If it starts getting dark and the wind's picking up, get off the water, get to shore, get to the closest marina park tie off and just get off the boat and wait for the storm to pass. And another thing, watch out for debris. And that's basically half a tree sticking out of the water right there. It can impale you. One of the biggest hazards running at night is you will not see those. It's just rolling the dice if there's something like that in the water. Whether rain or shine, you can expect officers to be out on the water. Man overboard, starboard. Looking out for your safety. Along the Potomac River, Katie Lasso, WUSA 9.